gearing up for the holidays and a disrupted schedule. So we'll do a little Friday feedback here for the YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing and leaving a real positive comment down below. Um, we've got Saruti, we've got Kyle, Morgan. Don't you turn that mic off, brother? We may need you at some point, so don't don't go anywhere. Uh, Repped out 275 nine times yesterday, so feel pretty good about that, especially on a Monday. I hadn't been doing flat bench a lot lately, so uh, good start to the week. Good you're start just reading the the Indiana uh, fan tweets, and you're just pumping it out. You're like, yeah, PR in today, baby. Let's go. <laughs> One guy was like, conservative grifter SEC honk is quite the pivot. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Me just uh, tweeting out. Wait, I thought you were a huge tweet. lib. Uh, no one knows. It's a no spectrum, knows. Steve. It's a spectrum. Yeah. Depends on I'm, the so pa- I'm so passionate about it. I never talk about it mm. ever <laughs> or tweet about it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my routine. Uh, speaking of routines, let's get to a basic one. Let's start, um, start with an easy one. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> this might be also a boring one. Day in the life. Love the show. Life advice is the best. First time Friday feedback email. I'm not sure if this falls into the category of feedback for the show, but thought it'd be interesting to know what each guy or each of the guys day-to-day life looks like as far as work, routine, life, et cetera. I feel like it would be awesome to hear a breakdown of a day in the life of each of you guys' job and schedules throughout the day and week. Not sure if anyone else would be interested, but I think it'd be cool to see an insight into everyone's life. Thank you and have a great day. All right. Uh, who wants to go first? I think I've done this before, so I can give you the uh, abbreviated version. Let's You're just- prepped. Let's just say, uh, let's just say it's uh, yesterday, Monday. Um, finished BS Pod around eleven o'clock. Stay up later than I should have. PM. This is the day before, where this is a plus one sort of situation. So it's Sunday, kind of. So it's uh, yeah, it's Sunday, but it's you know, I'm I'm shutting my eyes in the AM. Uh, goddamn Call of Duty. I can't wait for that to wear off. Stop waking up bleary eyed. Uh, and then um, eight AM, one shotty podcast. Uh, so then I asked Saruti at eleven PM. Uh, the night before, if we could maybe start this early, uh, the classic Sunday night pivot. Do you think you guys could show up at 7.30 instead of 8? We do that. We'll inevitably run over two or three minutes. I'll text Tate, hey, I'm going to be late. Uh, this podcast is running over. doesn't respect my time. So then we... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so then i do a uh, one shiny podcast and put that up uh, immediately. And then maybe wow. we're done. Maybe we're not. Uh, that's just Monday. Then what happens on Monday? Do some yeah, email I mean, stuff, um, you know, because it's so early, then I'll maybe try to get out and uh, and do a little exercise just to see if there's any other stuff that may pop up. Uh, then I'll see try if, to see make if any other guys in bands need help lifting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, back's doing way better. Thanks for asking. And then um, nice. I will. Wow. Try to, I'll make a video. Uh, that was a from one shiny today. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, this just doesn't seem interesting, so I'm trying to spice it up. And then um, then I'll make a video for one shiny podcast. They're a little clunky, but I'm learning. Um, yeah, that's probably Monday. And then I'll see if Bill has any ideas for what he wants to do tomorrow, which would be today. Still don't really know besides the one thing we're taping at nine. And we'll just we'll just keep going through the week. What what about the Kyle break? Like how do you what do you do? Where's the Kyle time? Well, um, definitely pull the reins way back on Frolic. I don't know. Something's a little less appealing. I don't know if that's me changing or maybe it's like uh oh, we'll see. Um yeah, pretty much not during the week anymore. Trying to trying to get golf in at least once. It's the holidays are a little wonky. My dudes are are traveling around. Uh, but yeah, with, with Kyle time has been really, it's been that walk, power walk thing. Um, I got some new free weights from my father-in-law. I've been working on that a little bit. And then um, Call of Duty, man. I guess I'm, I'm in a vortex right now. So maybe, what maybe about, that'll wear off. Where does prestige. Frolic fit no in? No big deal. Um, yeah, it's Weekends kind of, only. kind of been Saturdays only. And honestly, last Saturday I didn't go either. So we'll see what is going on. Yeah. Dudes are, dudes are asking questions. That's for sure. Just checking. I thought like, there was always okay. like, I thought there was always like, if you have an early taping, like an early frolic visit, that's definitely like how Tuesday. it used to be. Well, Tuesdays, no, because Tuesdays are wild. Any, any build day is a wild card day. So we stay away. Um, he doesn't want you to just get some afternoon beers and then. No, I can't. I can't do that. Yeah. The bill no, days that's... are tough because, I mean, even, you know, I was texting Kyle yesterday, like, hey, do we have any update on like when Bill's, what his schedule is this week? We don't. Uh, More like kinda... Thanksgiving. And he's like, you know, <laughs> this guy tomorrow at 9 a.m. Like, all right, not really the answer to the question, but yeah. uh, at least I know we're at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So that's good. Tuesdays are kind of a wild card. I feel like sometimes with Bill, you just got to be on call for like 
mostly 18 hours ish. 18 is um, a lot. Maybe shout 12. out to the NBA Cup. Might be might start at nine, end at nine. No, <laughs> true. <laughs> that is true. Um, my Monday. Let's see. Yesterday, well, that was the same thing. I was with a lot of mine and Kyle's overlap. I was in the the Bill Live Sunday night. Uh, but I go to I I got to go to bed like right after that thing's over because it's Who you know, one you? one thirty Plus on the East hours. Coast. Uh, wake up the next morning, take the kid to daycare, which is an early wake up call. Usually, whether or not she wants to eat or not depends on my mood that morning. Uh, and then we start, yeah, we start Rosillo at what ten thirty. Uh, tape that for a couple hours, and we got I got a meeting with the FanDuel TV people because that episode airs on Tuesdays on FanDuel TV. So we got to talk through what the edits are and work on in that meeting. It's not too too long. Um, and then I start prepping for the Ringer Soccer Show because we got Champions League games today. So we taped that last night at eight thirty Eastern. So I was prepping for that for a couple hours yesterday. So Monday's actually kind of a long day for your boy. I don't need to go through the whole week. Um. Honestly, Mine is yeah. Yours is the one I'm. I'm really I don't know. About. This might be get yeah, but water. what about what about like a Saruti break? What about you and the wife and the kid? There's got to be like something, and I know it's probably not every week because you know. Wow, well, so exhale. we were talking about well, this this will air on Friday, but so my my parents are coming in and they're staying with us Wednesday because they're going to be here on Thanksgiving, and they're like, hey, why don't we like you know we'll take Marlo and then we'll. You guys can go out to dinner, but we were like, wait, that's like the night that, you know, obviously everybody goes out for drinks. Like, do we, do we, are we too old for that scene? Do we want to be in that scene? You know, like if we, if we find like a, like maybe like quiet little bistro and get, get a nice dinner on Wednesday night. So we're, that's kind of the planning phase where we're at right now. But, uh, I don't know. I've been playing a lot of, I mean, Kyle's been playing a lot of Call of Duty. I've been playing a lot of NCAA. Um, the game is infuriating, but I started a new Arkansas dynasty. So I wanted to pick like kind of a mid team, sorry, Arkansas fans in the SEC and make it hard on myself playing Heisman mode. I was Virginia Tech before. A lot of talent. Arkansas. There is actually more talent on that Arkansas roster than I thought there was going to be. They're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they got good tight end, good defensive end. Quarterback's not terrible. Running back is a beast. So uh, it's been fun. That, that's usually my late night endeavor. Uh, let's see. Um, probably the best way to do it is go Friday to Friday. All right. So. <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> Yeah. Layout. <laughs> All right. So Friday, four o'clock, NBA, hard, hardcore NBA. Probably done nine or 10 o'clock on Friday. If I get done or feel like, okay, I know everything I need to know tonight, maybe I'll play the par three by myself on Friday night. Won't go out on Friday, um, obviously, because Saturday is get out of the house as soon as I can, go to the gym, 9 a.m., football. And that goes for about 12 hours. And if there's something NBA related, I'll figure it out. Usually never go out. Stanford Steve was in town this weekend. I did go out. And the late, late game wasn't the most important window. Sunday, kind of the same as Saturday. Get up, go to the gym, and then probably grab some groceries because I have the extra hour before the kickoff. Watch football for the first seven plus hours. During that break between the four o'clock window and the late game, I'll usually go to the beach right now reading about the Roman Empire, or I'll just take a nap and then cold tub, hot tub it out. And then during the late game, I'll watch the late game, put another TV on the NBA, and then start to prep out at least half the show for Monday morning. Monday morning, I wake up by 5, 5.30, jump in the cold tub, uh, prep out from like for about two hours unless we go earlier. Usually it doesn't matter if I had four hours to prep or an hour and a half to prep, it'd probably be the same result, yeah. uh, which Rudy and I have talked about <laughs> tape from <laughs> eight to 10. Cause I'll just keep prepping and prepping and prepping. And then it's like, it doesn't really fucking matter. Um, eight to 10, we tape 10 that Monday is kind of like my Friday happy hour, except instead of drinking at 10 AM, um, I go to the gym. And then I have this kind of like window of like, okay, it's nice. But the problem is when it's the basketball football overlap, I completely feel behind for the last 48 hours of basketball because all I've really been focusing on is football because that takes a priority. So then I'll either come back and write um, creative writing time, which has been a disaster lately um, mm. because I have a bunch of stuff I have to have done. And then I will maybe go to the beach for an hour again reading and then right back to the nba where i'll watch second halves or fourth quarters of stuff i missed from the weekend while i'm watching the start of like a detroit game or the wizards which i probably don't have to watch that much of anymore um tuesday is supposed to be an off day it rarely is muay thai coaching 
gym before, don't like to do gym after cardio. Been lifting less and have been stronger. So I've been lifting less days, but doing more other stuff. Wednesday taping, same schedule, basketball. Um, Thursday, Muay Thai again, or I might try to golf, more basketball. Thursday game has taken some hits in my household because I'll be like, what's the matchup tonight? Like, I feel I like you never to started off Thursday night game, though, didn't it? Didn't it start off pretty strong? Like started off really strong. There was a little bit of a lull, and then recently it's been important to watch again. But there was, a think, about a three-week window where I was like, I don't really know that I need to do it. And Srudy's right. By the time Thursday rolls back around, I'm like, I just, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could not watch it. But again, if it's an important game and something happens and you're going to be ready to go on Friday, um, wake back up Friday morning, same thing, 5.30, 6 a.m., um, and then that's when I try to do the boat thing on Friday. I try to take the boat out every Friday. Boat Fridays. Took it out. Get that boat Fridays. Worth. Took it out Friday. Listened to a lot of Tom York, some Zappa mm. stuff. Sweet. Super into Zappa this past Friday. Which Zappa? Anchored. I'm just kidding. Which Zappa? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dweezil, obviously. Um, Doesn't Anchor you didn't have a solo album? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Probably multiple solo albums. Anchor, try to write for three and a half hours. Did not go well at all. And uh, came back with a solo Sunset Cruise, anchored up and uh, docked up and, um, you know, got caught up on all the NBA stuff that started at four. So I, I actually am in this mode now where I'm taping all the NBA, I'm taping so much NBA stuff so that I can try to get through games quicker to see more games and also not feel like I have to be on the couch from four until nine or 10. So yeah, uh, that's the schedule 20 Smart. hours of football. Um, 20 hours of football and like 40 hours of basketball and creative writing and Muay Thai training. For what reasons? I have no idea. Sometimes on both topics. <laughs> All right. I got nothing on that. Actually. I have no, no, <laughs> no notes. Kind of what I might I need to listen back to this just so I can fully absorb whatever you just yeah. said. But uh, it's a lot. Yeah. I think that's probably what I don't people feel great expected. At, you know, I don't, there's not much in there to be excited about. <laughs> yeah oh uh guitar lessons self-taught also you 15 do? minute yep 15 minute creative exercise where i just what do you plan stairway uh yep stairway to heaven <laughs> <laughs> but acoustic in a different time signature <laughs> so it's been a little more challenging well, maybe in 10 years i'll know a song uh it's cool that you kind of don't have time to be lonely for everyone who like thinks they have this picture of you. Like, you know, you got all your friends at league pass and, and, uh, your Muay Thai guy and <laughs> <laughs> Herb street. I just, it feels like, Damn. it feels like, you know, there's really like, you're good I get to see who, all my friends on TV. Time? Who has time to be lonely? <laughs> I tried to watch the penguin yesterday. I was like, okay, oh, I'm dude, just going to put the, you have to, you know, no, you it's really to. good. It's really good. I, I'm, I'm almost caught up, but it was the middle of the day. And I was trying to write and it just it wasn't happening. And I actually went into my bedroom and like laid down on top of the comforter. I was like, what are you doing here? What's this move? <laughs> and it was the minute it was like two o'clock in the afternoon. And I was I fired up the penguin and I sat there for five minutes and was like, get out of get the fuck out of bed. <laughs> I'm like, get back to work and figure out. So actually last night I finally started making some headway, but this is kind of unrelated, but also is related. Uh, you talk about the loneliness answer. thing. Did you Just see minutes on our day days? This is great. <laughs> I saw somebody posted a clip. Did Jezelnik steal your line? Did you see this? Yeah. Somebody um, actually sent it to Friday feedback. Oh, okay. Uh, well, there you go. Je Jezelnik did what? He did a sit down with Levitard or did he... Is this part of his routine? Or does he say specifically, I'd rather be lonely than annoyed? Or does it's, he? It's basically that and slightly different. I don't know what the exact verbiage was. I, I watched the video last night. That's how night. you would steal a joke, right? You'd basically, but different. He just extended I gotta be it, honest kinda. You, I don't know that it's the most original thing. No, no. Ever said. Just, so you know. I don't, <laughs> I don't think he stole it. I don't. <laughs> I, he's really I mean, locked into Rosilla pods and he's yeah, like, that's good. Right. It's a super arrogant thing for me to even think it's a possibility. I appreciate people sending it to me, but I'm let me just say 100% on the record, I think he's really funny and really smart, and he could definitely come up with that on his own. And I mean, I didn't 
hear anybody say it when I said it to Van that day, but it's not the most original thought, you know? So I don't, um, there's one guy that totally stole something that I did for a stand-up routine though. And he's not super popular, but it's so specific, like word for word, this thing that I had said years and years ago on ESPN. And that's where I was like, you know, remember we were talking about who you can steal from and who you can't and how offended I was when I was prepping a TV show and the producers were like, well, you can steal from him. Right. And I was like, well, I don't want to repeat his line. Like it's a good line. It's like, yeah, but you can steal from him. And it was just like, think about it in our world. There are people that will look at other people and be like, well, you can't steal from bill, right? You can't steal from bill, but like you can steal do. from this. Yeah, they do. I think they steal some of the like structure of concepts. Of the, yeah. The pyramid, segment. The pyramid has been stolen. Yeah. Pyramid's been stolen. Pyramid's been straight up been stolen, which is another topic. Uh, all right. <laughs> Female woman life advice idea. Uh, great show. Long time. Five, eight, one ninety three twenty five bench, three fifty five squat, three fifty five deadlift. Tossing around the idea of a female woman life advice. Could Saroots and Kyle's wives come on and talk about all the dumb stuff they do or ask the female women to write in talking about all the dumb stuff, dumb life advice their husbands do. Thanks for all of you and what you do helping men make better life decisions for years. Okay. Um, well, this is really a you guys answer more than it is me. I'll tell you right now, Maddie would love that. My wife, um, she heard from a few people about the pretzel bun discussion and wasn't excited about it. And I would imagine she wants to get some shots off. So, and Maddie's funny. Maddie's way funnier than I am. So, uh, I think, I think she would actually be all right. There's a few Uh, things I probably wouldn't do for the content. This might be one of them. Uh, I'd have to (laughs) mull it over, but there's a couple things, a couple stories I won't tell. And maybe a couple people I wouldn't bring on. Maybe this is one of them. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still intimidated by Kyle's wife because, um, like one of the first times I met her, I think it was the first time I met her. I asked, I asked to borrow her charger and then I like lost it and I could tell she was really, yeah, that was in New York, right? Yeah. And it was just a really bad first impression. So I, I don't know if she even likes me. I'm kind of nervous about it. No, no, I give you big ups. Don't worry. Uh, that's Thanks, good. Man. Yeah, I don't. I think my wife sort of does this thing where, like, she'll get around my friends, and I don't know if this would happen, but like this way, it's recorded. She'll get around my friends, and it's all like, get your fucking free shots in on Kyle. Like, she, you know, then they rile each other up, and I'm just like, it just spins out of control. Uh, you know, the first twenty minutes, I'm like, is this how the whole day is gonna go? It usually dies down, but it's just there's like an air of like, let's get our jabs in right now. Like, what does he do that you don't like? Oh my god, he does that with me too. Hey, has he ever said this? It's like it just, I could see that like spinning out of control and there's a little red light on where it's like, Hey, we're recording all this and we'll put it out of video. So I don't, don't need that. I don't need that. You're right. Yeah, I don't yeah. need that. Uh, my back's at 80%. I don't need to go backwards here. <laughs> I don't think it would be a bad idea. I just would hate for them to have to experience any negativity. Um, because yeah. that's something that I wouldn't really ever want to do. Like I had my dad on to do the Muhammad Ali thing. And then he came on in my last show at ESPN and it was really cool. It was like, like a pretty cool moment, but I don't know that I'd want him on like giving NBA takes and look now I'm, as I'm saying this out loud, you're like, aren't you actually talking about Bill's dad, the Bill's dad routine? Like it works. It's funny. I've met his dad. I think his dad's awesome, but I just kind of know it's, I would hate to have my dad then see people like getting mad at him because he has like a Chicago Bulls take they don't like. Like I just I don't I don't know I don't know how that would go. Like I I think that so much easier to not. <laughs> yeah, right. So like all of a sudden people start giving like it's just gonna happen. People start giving both of your wives shit for being on a platform. Like I don't know that you'd want to introduce that in your life. It kind of reminds me like somebody who's like just starting out and maybe they they're not necessarily like have their own show, but maybe they're a producer on a show, but they talk on the show and then they start to get a few followers. Like think of like early version Saruti, right? And now all of a sudden people are kind of paying attention to you a little bit. And I'm not even making this specifically about Saruti, but I'm just thinking about like the timeline and the model. And I'll see like some of those people be like, well, we got to address what happened yesterday. This thing blew up. And it's like seven people said something. I right? know. Like yeah. I, it didn't you're gonna be okay have you clicked on any of ryan's or bill's tweets I mean, now i know what it feels there's like there's a section <laughs> yeah there's a like, section okay well everyone 
people were hot on this one yesterday. <laughs> like, yeah. Not really. You but it's double so, digits and likes. <laughs> it's, responses. it's so new. We have 48 <laughs> likes on this one. So, whoa. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. There's just times where I, I think it's, it's kind of just nicer to not have to have people deal with what it can be like. Uh, all right. Feedback to be a good house guest. Jim Stats, six foot, 205, stuck at 165 on the bench press, but down 15 pounds in the past year. So we'll call it even. Feedback to Kyle and Saruti. Typically, when you go to your friend's house to watch a ball game, you bring a six pack or something to be a good guest. The host supplies the venue, the guest supplies the refreshments. I'm 26, and it's crazy that two guys in their 30s with wives would show up empty handed to a hang. I'm Team Rye on this one. Yeah, well, it was the last fucking second. Uh, and then we had to get on the absolute parking lot of a highway. So maybe consider that, you fucking genius. <laughs> yeah, ordinarily, this guy is Whoa, correct. If you were going to like your fucking neighbor's house. Okay, I flew. We flew. Again, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> but we flew, we <laughs> no, flew. I'm fucking heated. I'm fired up now. So feedback for you guys. This is what a stupid fuck? email. This is a stupid email because that's stupid, not what this dumb. That's not what this was. I, I, Asshole. Well, it's not like we're not bringing like cheese and crackers over to ryan's house like i it was it was a you know an informal hang but like we did kind of like go out of our way to get there so i i don't know um wargon you were a witness to all this you you want to chime into the thought of hey should we stop and get a a six or a cold ones before we go to ryan's yeah i don't know like kyle said we were sort of it was a parking lot out there man we were like, and we were like the last like six people in the thing. Like everyone had kind of gone and like Sarudi and Wargon were kind of just pacing around. They were just like, how you doing? What you thinking? Uh, I'm like, I'm going as fast as I can getting this podcast. <laughs> I literally am going as fast as I can. Sarudi actually was like, dude, we should get some food before we go there. And I yeah. just kind of ignored him and just kept driving to you. I didn't say anything. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just, I just drove straight to you. Um, I didn't think there was going to be food well. there. That's why I suggested that. And I wasn't, no, I'm right. not. I wasn't even, that's not even like a knock, Ryan. I just, I was just like, hey, well, we should probably get food because Ryan's likely not going to have food there. Uh, you guys don't need to defend yourselves on this one. Um, I'm not team Rye on this one. I should have said, hey, if you're not going to eat, I'll order a bunch of food. No, I didn't want to do this. No, we should be mad at the emailer. We don't, I don't want no, to be No, 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 no. <laughs> the guy is I, correct, though, but like. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, 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 no. I isn't. mean, like, it, it was not, generally. There's, there's a different dynamic here as like the lead of the show right as it being my show and the things i'm supposed you're not supposed to be doing things for me i'm supposed to be doing things for you to show you my appreciation i mean certainly kyle yeah i felt appreciated pretty, yeah kyle <laughs> he did worked fine. out all right for kyle <laughs> yeah but um and by the way there's like a thousand cores lights here so nobody needs to bring more of them yeah um as they sit in a drawer so no, I'm uh, I'm saying he's right in that, like, you know, usually when you go to somebody's house for a get together, you do bring like a you bring a plate of cookies, or you bring some chips or whatever. That's true. But that yeah, wasn't this wasn't this. a fucking Saturday afternoon guy. Yeah. Yeah, I I understand what he's saying, but I think with me being I think the dynamic is just different than going over to a neighbor's. That's all. Hmm. Uh, all right. A little different here. Has Ryan seen Hamilton? Forty one, five, six, one forty five. The most obvious no gym stats in the history of Friday feedback. Player comp is Chris Terreri, an undersized goalie that peaked in 1994. Simple question here. Has Ryan seen Hamilton? On one hand, it's the conversions of several Rosillo tributaries. Great use of that word. Loaded with 80s, 90s hip-hop callbacks, very intentional, clever writing, and based on a churnout book that he's almost assuredly read. Yes, uh, Hamilton really is that great of a book. It is... Um, well, as I read it, I was like, okay, I can understand how someone would read this and, and think of it as like the perfect character arc ever. It's it's unbelievable. Um, and if you've never read a turn out, and I know they're daunting and intimidating, and I don't know what age I turned to. The yeah, I think I was intimidating, dude. <laughs> I, I, I'm stuck in I that read, Washington audiobook. I, Grant was like a big wake because that was actually the first turn out that I'd ever read. And I saw it, it came out. I was moving to LA and I went, I'm doing it. I'm buying a huge fucking book and I'm going to read it, read the whole thing. And then once I got through it, I just went, okay, I can't stop reading. And I read everything he did. So, um, on the other hand, I'm not sure I'd peg Rosillo as a musical theater guy. Oh, you might be making a mistake. Ooh, this guy did get seen, happy in you seen Wicked 93. Tonight? <laughs> 
Uh, it will require leaving the house, sitting with other people in a theater, and looking past some of the historical liberties that uh, Miranda took with the churnout out text. I can see this going either way. Can't wait to hear your answer. For the surprising plot twist that the Hamilton cast album has been on Kyle's Spotify rap four years running. Is that true? Is, has it? Is it? No, I've never seen Hamilton. Um, uh, my wife was screwing with my Spotify for a while, so maybe I don't think she was a Hamilton person either. Honestly, my Spotify rap got so screwed up because she would use my Spotify to put on like calm piano music for the rabbits because they're not supposed to be in silent if the happiest rabbits don't, or don't have silence, which I don't I didn't want to get in there. My own Friday feedback, but uh, like the last couple of years. Wait, like, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can you just back up a second oh, and clarify? Eight, when I do this what what do you need you have to so wait your <laughs> phone is playing or wait the oh it's, it's on the tv via spotify app you know what i mean okay or it's on our google yep. home got it uh and then i would you know i was i really like the spotify rap is unique i think apple probably ripped it off now but when they first did it, it was really awesome i was excited it was exactly what i thought <clears throat> 0.1 listener to 50 cent like you know most listened to song you know whatever that's great for you uh yeah big big cutty guy um the, like two three years ago she we we've we've since remedied this but like two years ago i think was when it first started it was just like swedish calm piano things and that was like my number one it's like you've listened Some to the calmest piano you've yeah, listened to like two thousand hours of a peaceful piano yeah. playlist and so my spotify wrapped is uh has been perverted uh in a in the most you know normal sense of that word <laughs> so uh we're back to normal now Okay. Uh, I've, I haven't seen Hamilton. I would have. Um, but I remember, I think there was a moment where I was with someone and we were going to go to Broadway for something and she was like, it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> and she's somebody whose opinion I trust. So she was like, let's go see Rock of Ages. It's she's like, I've already seen it twice. You're going to love it. It's so much better. Or no, not Rock of Ages. That's what it was. It was, it was the Book of Mormon. My apologies. Went to go see the Book of Sorry. Mormon. Book of, Book of Mormon was incredible. So I actually do enjoy the theater. Um, do I do I yearn for it? No. Nope. But when I'm in New York and it's convenient, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot over there. And so I kind of missed out on the Hamilton thing. And I, I would have, I would have gone. I mean, I, playing right next to Frolic for a while there. Probably that's right. Back. Yeah, Pantages. I'm like, yeah, I'm fiercely anti musical. Sort of the way that Cerruti's like, if it's made in the 70s and it's not like The Godfather, it's not just the don't 70s. Fucking... I like the 70s. Okay, not so what, uh, More black and white. Yeah. I don't know, whatever it is, whatever it is. It's just like so the idea of it, like committing to however long that is. Um, it, it really it's like a it's like something i need to get over and i'm in the i'm in the throes of it right now because my wife's talking about wicked and i'm like yeah theater you know we didn't even go see alien romulus but i should show i off watched wicked. it the other night it was it was pretty good i bought it actually next day it comes out on hulu for free what a fucking smart move that was but i'm i'm, I'm in the throes of it right now just the idea of committing to a musical at all really uh it's like i don't know it's like trying to <laughs> like just take a shot of lemon juice you're like this is gonna suck i'm not gonna do it see so, uh, i would push back on that i i'm not a musical guy but i have seen a few i've seen hamilton i've seen book of mormon and i they were all they're off broadway uh but i i didn't i enjoyed them uh, i went with my dad and my mom and my wife to hamilton my dad could not have gotten it less <laughs> like just did not <laughs> it just did not work did not resonate with him um I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine. I, I, you know, I guess it's just hard because it was like so hyped up and I saw it so far after, like, you know, it had, you know, probably peaked and it certainly wasn't even close to the original cast. Not that the people that we saw weren't great, but you know, it's just like, it's the expectations that probably killed it. I will say I saw, what was it? I saw Hairspray on Broadway. I bought my high school girlfriend, when, like, you know, tickets. That was our Christmas present. Right. So we went to Broadway, you know, sometime in February or whatever. Ball, and man. I was in anticipating high school? high school. Yeah. And I got these tickets on this like really sketchy ass website. I wasn't even hundred percent sure we were going to get the tickets, but then they ended up being like sick tickets. Like we were pretty close, like right on the aisle. Um, but, uh, and I liked it. I liked hairspray. I was, I was fully going in ready to be like, this wow. is going to suck. How about this I'm, guy, Kyle? <laughs> culture, <laughs> dude. Loser. Oh my God. And it was actually he liked hairspray. Good. I'm just uh, saying, don't knock it till you try. I'm not, I'm not like putting it on like my Spotify playlist or anything like that. I will say too about wicked. 
I'm out on Wicked. Too many commercials. The interviews with the two, with, with uh, Ariana Grande and the other chick, I, they are absurd. And I have seen too many things in my Instagram feed. I'm completely out. I love that people don't realize the sneaky Connecticut high school access to New York City that mm-hmm. all of my friends who grew up in Connecticut, like, yeah, we used to go to the city all the time. Uh, granted, that's a little bit more of a Fairfield County, yeah, Fairfield, Gold yeah. Coast thing than it would be a Central Connecticut thing. But still, you know, it wasn't that far. Catch it on the hour and a half. No, hour and a half, unless you're doing when I was uh, post breakup leaving Bristol. Friday, right after the show at four o'clock and driving down the city like every other weekend there for a little while where I was like, I'm just going to be, I'm going to be a New York city guy and I'm just going to go in. And I started thinking about trying to get an apartment down there. And then I was like, this is probably going to end up being a bad idea. Uh, all right. Um, I thought there was something left on that bone there, but I think I kind of wanted to hear Mike Wargon's thoughts on musicals. It's, I have no idea which (laughs) he's right there. (laughs) There he is. Pops in now. Do you think we could bring him in here? I really, I, I just, I don't know what you're going to say. I have no, yeah, I'm I'm a huge Broadway guy. (laughs) Go to shows all the time. (laughs) It's the best. (laughs) All the the time. What have you seen? Opening night in costume. No, I wasn't in costume. Um, holding space for the defying gravity lyrics, all of it, you know? Space. So you're Look fucking with you. us now. You're Look fucking with you. us. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I don't think he's he is. not. Yeah, no, he's not. he loves it. Look at that smile. Love it. Ear to ear, baby. Just saw Sunset Boulevard. What a thrill, <laughs> dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's no. in the city though, so he's he's in yeah. the city. So he he has just premier access here. Do you yeah, have like a pass? Check the paper, and you're like, should we go? No, I play the lotteries though. <laughs> I play the lotteries. What thirty dollars tickets. It's like random drawing. Thirty dollars tickets. <laughs> good what, seats. What you get? What you get? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you uh, have like a lanyard? Do you have like your own lanyard that you can reuse, pass? or well, how does that? Is there has to be something you have? Curtain call. I called? don't. I I would have it if there was something to be had. <laughs> yeah. Let's say that. <laughs> Fuck yes! I just knew. I fucking knew I you had it. something to say here, man. I knew it. Oh yeah. Are you gonna see Wicked in theaters? Again? Yeah, I'm going, oh. uh, I'm going on Friday. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I'm going with my fiance's family on Friday. That's awesome. Yeah. So your whole again thing was not a joke. That was not the perfect. No, I saw delivered. it last Wednesday and I'm going again on Friday. <laughs> what a treat. Let me tell you. You're a, you're the treat, it's, Mike. What the fuck? Yeah, man. Jesus. I have other ones to get to, and I don't. It's not. This is this is the great thing about being a direct. God damn this it. is when you leave. This is it. We can't. It'll just be downhill from here. What is this place? You don't have to tell people you like Hamilton. I liked Hamilton. Yeah, Greg. We all did. <laughs> nice. Uh, I didn't know where you're going there. Nice. Okay, that's Friday feedback, man. <sighs> On the <a> Tuesday taping, <laughs> posting Wednesday or uh, Friday. It'll post on Friday. Black Friday. Okay. <sighs> We'll post it Friday then. Friday, All right. Friday. Uh, In true Friday feedback go. form. It's not a Friday. There you go. Yeah. If you have any feedback or anything, we didn't get to any of the Indiana ones. Friday feedback, rr at gmail.com. Thanks to Oregon, Kyle, and Saruti. And check out the podcast on Ringer and Spotify.